CNBC's election road trip is rolling on to one of the most important counties in America. Our Brian Sullivan is live in East Grand Rapids, Michigan with more. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Sarah and team. I mean, listen, it's kind of these neighborhoods that are going to turn the whole thing. We were in Erie on Monday. Now we're in Grand Rapids, actually East Grand Rapids. We have a nice suburban area here, and it's really the suburbs that might determine everything around here. Let's talk about first where we stand, because you're seeing the markets move, and I don't like to dive into straight politics, but given the markets move and what some of the guests have said today, uh, you got to look at some of these polls. If you look at a couple of the polls that we picked out, whether it's uh, Quinnipiac or the AARP poll, they're showing a slight lead for the former president. So that has set off some alarm bells. And you saw NBC News with a big article yesterday. Are there concerns about so-called cracks forming in what they call the blue wall, right, which is the Michigan, the Wisconsin, and the Pennsylvania? And they tend more than often to kind of go together. So what do we do when we get inside of a county like Kent County, which is where we are? Well, as we talked about earlier, really a couple of types of rings is what we'll say. Here in sort of a more affluent urban type area or downtown, it's going to be largely for Harris, mostly blue. You got that middle suburban ring, we'll call that purple, kind of 50-50. And then on the rural side of the county, that's going to be pretty much the opposite and be a lot more for the president. So really that purple ring is kind of going to be where things ultimately develop. All right, so we haven't been here a long time, but we were here last night. We've been here today. We talked to, if you know me, I'm talking to everybody. What are some of the concerns? Well, it's inflation. It still remains a major concern. In fact, just talked to a restaurant owner here a couple of minutes ago. They just raised prices. They're going to have to raise prices again because their prices are being raised. And also, this is Michigan. And I know we're not in Detroit, but the automobile sector looms large in the entire state. Kent County actually has a big GM facility. It's got some Bosch and parts manufacturers. This is a nice area, pretty well off. We've seen some Teslas. Just saw a Rivian R1S drive by and a Kia EV. But other than that, guys, you don't see a lot of electric cars. And we, we made a point of counting as we were driving, and we counted eight. That's it, from Erie to here. Patrick, you're my, you're my witness on the, on the count in the minivan that we rented. So the auto industry, another big concern. And just very quickly, end on the markets, we talk about inflation. Not my opinion. You guys have been hitting on it all morning. Look at the bond market. The bond market spike. Look at gold at a record high. Those are things that suggest there is a real concern in the bond market that inflation could be ready to spike again. And inflation and the economy probably on the minds of, of many of the folks that are watching right here behind our camera in East Grand Rapids.